Hers, Gina again, and we're just coming back into my new. We've redesigned the, the, the craft room because we were a bit disappointed about not being able to build the extension. So obviously the wardrobes are still in the same spot. Uh, I'll show you inside. Ooh, these are all my retired stamp sets. Those have got no dies. Those have got no dies and those have got no dies. But these are all bundles. All those are. Uh, except for that one. That's the Christmas one. And then there's a couple down there. There's my old plates off. The blah, 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 blah. Big Shot and the Gemini. My catalogues. Some old retired punches. But I've still got the stamp sets too. And then obviously... You know me and my cards. I never get rid of any cards. So these are all the cards that have been sent to me over the past four and a half years. I keep them all. You probably see yours, a few of them. But uh, yeah, this is the wardrobe I've converted. It used to be on the shelves, but now it's got my notepads, just a little bit of junk, ribbons that don't belong in stamping up. Um my protector sheets. I think I bought the last six packets that Stampin' Up! was selling. So I've got plenty of those. And then my little ribbon station. I have over 130 ribbons there. That are from Stampin' Up! And I've still got to make two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. 25, 20, 60, 78, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And another 41 ribbon boxes. I try, try to make them myself. So what I'm going to do instead of doing individuals, I might just make the big box, punch a few holes in, and then just slot them in next door to each other. But this is my, uh, that's where my linen threads go, my shimmery thread, gold thread, baker's twine and everything going there. This is my A4 craft card and white card that I've had that offline. This I get uh, from the range and that's the, the make of that. It's just called R. A3, A3 white card and it's the creative memories and it's made especially for the range so this is the only place you can get it and that when you cut that in half that's an a4 two a4s cut it in half again so i get four cards to each one so 50 card sheets of that gives me 200 cards then there's some more odds and sods ribbons these are my stamp here and and graphic 45 papers that i've done something with these are just from the range my Arteza paints then and paint brushes and stuff. And another set that should go that side. Uh, an old printer, old cardstock from when I first started crafting. And then loads more ribbons and me and me um lanyards that I got from stamping up. I keep all my craft card, white card and chipboard and stuff in there. Oh, so, and there are a couple of albums that I haven't done anything with yet, but the lovely Fiona sent me them. So, as you can see, a typical wardrobe full of old empty boxes, you know, certain projects and, you know, little gift bags and stuff. And this is where I now keep anything that I've made, handmade, uh, goes on the shelf. There's the album. There's my uh, cookery one as well, my recipe book. This is going to be a prize for the 12,000, when I get to 12,000 subscribers. And then all the rest of these are for sale. This is the extra bits for the House of Roses. So if anyone's interested in that, they get all the leftover papers, the cards, stock, the papers, everything. And there's the Imagine one and um, Grand Hotel one. There are just a couple of little projects I've done. Uh, these are my grid paper, my old stamping up papers and my other, the stuff that I haven't done anything with yet. So, and then I keep my envelopes in here. This is my ink station. 
obviously then you got the drawers these have got all the bits of dsp and things that people have given to me and old stamping up dsps laser cuts and stuff and down here these are going to go for prizes towards um the sketches each week old dsp that I won't throw away and stuff that's slightly retired but i'm not fussed on this paper i wasn't fussed on this whole suite tell you the truth but they go in there anyway out the way the middle drawer then nothing's changed much in there silver and gold card stock um paper pumpkin boxes acetate boxes um the, the curvy keepsakes is it i don't know and then on the bottom drawer this has got an organizer and this is brilliant i've got my foam my polka dot bags for mailing things cello bags envelopes sponges and then i've got silver gable end boxes the three by three and one eight box acetate boxes they're the new ones the stamping up boxes acetate boxes and the gold pizza boxes so that's where i keep all there as you know from before that that's just a few of the projects i've made 3d um with you on camera and then the cards at the very back there the best friend they're off cinders and the handmade bag was sent to me by the gorgeous mandy so it just stays on display the card there is I, one i made for a camera and it's going up for my mother-in-law for christmas god bless her soul she's still with us by then so all my cards stock and the white sheets of paper on top are an idea by georgie burns stops any dust falling onto my card stock keeping it clean and it's just photocopy paper on the top then but it's all labeled i know where everything is and on this side i tend to add uh my six by six because i can still see the color of the card stock i can still see the name of the card stock so it's because I've run out of, sh of shelves down there, see, that at the bottom is current stamping up papers. And this is coming back out in the autumn winter catalogue. So is this. And I think this is, yes, yeah, some of that is as well. And then they've got the in colours and then DS6x6 six six DSP. I can see here, boho, flowers for everything, whale of a time, and then the patterns one. And now my shelves, I've turned them into storage. I've got all my blends right next to the desk. Card kits, just little wallets, cards and envelopes. Then my Arteza pens and my little felt pens. I love them. My embossing station, my embossing folders are now down there. And then at the bottom was just a little magazine. Um, that project on the floor is something I've been working on for a while, but I just haven't got around to finishing it. So now my cube units are now over here. And they all house my boxes. Still got the same stuff in the boxes, so I won't need to show you. Mr. Boyce has turned this into a light box for me. So I can take my photographs of my cards and we actually got rid of the actual box that it came in because it kept falling it was held in by pegs in the light box so we run double-sided tape on the two sides to keep it up and then but really i'm only going to be pointing the camera at, at the photograph that's on the stand and then everything starts in alphabetical order right the way across you can fit 21 in each of these cubes and this is off the gorgeous cinders she said it reminded me of me and her best friends forever <laughs> and then you're carrying on we're into the c's and d's e and f f g h and i and then we go back down to i j k l m n o p and then there's loads of p's r's q's s's t's and then we're on to the t uh U, B, W, X, Y, Z. Everything is in alphabetical order. And then these are the retired background stamps, but I'm not getting rid. I'm a little Easter lamb. And these are my two favourite sets on the planet. Uh, Lovely's a tree and One Wild Ride. So, 
Yeah. Some of these are the new ones. I'm keeping the little ladybug as well. I love that. So I think there's six background stamps. And I'm not sure if I've added them on. Where's this C? Uh, camouflage. Yeah, they're all in with these in alphabetical order. So you've got the camouflage. You've got the dry brush. What was the other ones? Um, I'm looking. Um, dry brush. Can't think what the other ones. Oh, yeah, stacked stones. Uh, can't think what the other one was. This was three all together, and there's three out the old book. I'm not sure. So my little trolley is here behind my chair. I'll show you the desk in a minute. Uh, my little wire rack is now in between there because there was a big gap. And then my brother Scan and Cut has now got a place all by its own self. Look, it's switched on. I can move the guillotine out the way. And I can open her up and I can start to use her now. There she is. And her mat sits just behind here. So now I can feed that through. I know it's going to fit because it fits when I go through that way. And I can move it down a little bit if I need be. But it's got plenty of space. These are all my memories and more packs. Tissue box. And then more memories and more. Right up to the newest one. So I know when I feed that through my scan and cut now. I've got plenty of space. And then this side is where I used to film by the window. And now they're non-stamping up stamps. They're my half of my touch five markers. Mr. Boyce is going to make me another stand. The big shot is there. The computer's stayed on the desk, but it's behind the TV. I've got my Tim Holtz mat. I've got my trolley, like I say, with my guillotine on. My rack. Uh, all my stamping up dies and uh, my glues and my cut apart things down down there cleaners and stuff my drawers are all in use um i'm trying to think so the new side of the tv is now where all my punches are where i was filming before my you know the filming pole here was stuck in front of my tv screen so i could film and Mr. Boyce has wangled it now, so the camera's up even higher. You can, when you look down now, I've got more space to work with. And I absolutely love it. So my computer's free. I can plug, everything's plugged in. I just got to press a few buttons and some wires. And then and everything used to be along the back of, in the shape of those shelves. So instead, I've just added them into this corner because I've still got all that desk space there uh, to work on. Apart from that, that's just a piece of paper. Let me get that out of your way. So I've got a lot more desk space. Nothing is intruding in front of that 12 by 12 recording space that I had before. So these are all to hand. It looks, might look a bit cluttered and messy to others, but to me, it's organised. It's where everything I need. I've got my little printer, I've got my tapes, my blocks at the back, my scissors, my little, um, oh, what's it called? My bin with my cloths in, my bleach cloths, my embellishments, dimensionals, handy punches like tags and stuff that I like to keep to hand, my little tin of punches my banner punch and then my spare bits of these are the bits of whisper white i keep embellishments and then all my wing costellas and stuff and my sprays and glassy accents but everything's organized in these gorgeous little acrylic trays my scissors i just love it everything's to hand and i've got way look at all that space now to craft i never want to oh and when I'm doing die cutting. I literally just spin my chair. Die cut. I don't have to stand up anymore. I can just spin the chair, die cut, and then turn back. And 
a way to go. I haven't got to get up and down, up and down. The only thing I'll have to fetch across is obviously my DSP, my stamp set and my inks from over there. But I love it. There's so much more floor space if I stand back here and hold it up. So much more space. Ah, uh, yeah, we were told by our architect the other day that it was going to cost us about £10,000 before we even started digging anything up. And that's paying Welsh Water to move the grid. That's before we even dig foundations, anything. And it, and then the extension was going to cost between twenty and £25,000. So that, with the extra ten grand on top, was just something we haven't got at the minute. Whoa, more probably never will but we would have done it in stages we'd have done the foundations first then we'd have had the dry the external bricks put up then we'd have waited a bit and down the inside it's, it's just would take forever now to save the rest of the extra money and do all that we'd be waiting a year just to pay off the water board to move the grid that's outside so i said i'm i'm quite content up here i do prefer the kitchen but uh, he's put me, oh, let me show you these girls. There's one over that end as well. He's put me, I don't know if you can see, it's a bit dark, double sockets with USB ports. He's put one under that desk. He's put one over in that bottom corner and he's swapped, uh, that was a single plug and that was the only one in this room when I was crafting, well, till this morning. And the electrician has put, well, say electrician electrician mr voice he, he's done it all he's done an, an amazing job today and um, we were finished by half past four <sighs> didn't start till nearly 11 o'clock and i'd more moved most of the stuff out yes last night before we sat down to the premiere but i am um, look at him on the screen he's gorgeous and on top i'm out and i can open my window now and let some natural light in and, you know, it's just amazing. I love it. Got my little rubbish bin. Loads more. I can say loads. I haven't got to get up and to, or stand up to use the dye machine. I can literally just spin my chair while I'm doing a video, die cut it all out. And if it's small enough, obviously I'll pull out the small one there. But I just love it. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And... If I wanted to, I could double row these or just stack them on the top of each other to fill out the shelves for when the new stuff comes. And I can just like take those from that section and put them in on the top. So if I could take them from this section, stack them on top so they're still all in alphabetical order and move them all around and then get all the new stuff, get all the new stuff in. But yeah, I've decorated the shelves as well. So they're he easily to move. I've got my little calendar I made. Uh, my painting stone that somebody gave me. I think it was uh, Deb's Price's daughter. She uh, gave it to me. My little paints. Nothing intrusive in front of my stamp sets. My jar of quotes off the lovely cinders. Um, my gorgeous painting from um, Laura from France. My crafty mugs. I've got all my, in here, I've got all my note cards, three by three envelopes, memories of more cards, you know, just another neat way of keeping them in that gorgeous box. My marker pens are up there. This is the light box that the lovely Denise White or her house, Whitehurst made me. Oh, I'll get my tongs in in a minute. And my girls are still on my wall and I've got space for more, so get sending in your photographs. I love them. Love it. I know it's not on my desk, uh, Catherine, but it's on my cubes, so my desk is my castle. But I just wanted to give you a little update. I've turned my camera, uh, calendar already because I've got to send the birthday cards out. So Elaine's had hers. Susie Q, yours is on the way. Virginia and Cheryl... I'm posting yours next week, so you'll get them in plenty of time for your birthdays. All my little t tassels and charms that people have sent me. Yeah, I love it. So um, there's another quick tour. 
of my craft room. Like I say, it looks like clutter on the desk, but to me, it's my organized bits that I need. Just loving all that craft space. And like I say, I've got that desk as well. If I move the big shot, I can just literally go from one desk to the other with that only just by spinning my chair. I love it. So I'm going to love and leave you all. I hope you enjoy the video. Really would love a thumbs up and a share. And if you're new to my channel and want to see me creating this gorgeous new space, press subscribe and the little bell. That way you'll be notified of all future videos. So I'm going to love and leave you all. Thank you all. Stay safe and well. Love to everyone. Bye.